Hey, back tomorrow. Had a lot of fun tonight. Thanks to Ryan and everybody who uh, set this up tonight. It was a lot of fun. This is Brad Owen, and you're watching Live at the Bike. Conti and C4, who's a really good personal trainer, and you see it, how he looks in really good shape, and uh, he's so training Jamie. Sick, you're always going after my blind. It's so insane. Jamie with pocket jacks. It's literally so insane. If you win the 270, you win the 50 bucks from everybody probably would be what I would uh, Is C4 a little bit famous for being, or no? Uh, I don't know exactly how famous he is. I know, what's that? That's what I was asking if that's him. That's where I was going. Oh, he trained who? Gary Vaynerchuk. I don't even know who that is. Gary Vaynerchuk is uh, pretty big on YouTube. He is a guy who he has a long story, but at the moment he runs a 900 employee digital marketing firm based in New York City. That's what I was wondering if that's the same guy. I was like, is that the guy? Earlier I said that's probably not the same guy, but it looks like him. So yeah, he he was on. Yeah, he trained. Gary Vaynerchuk, who basically paid Mike yes. to be you his trainer. He was with him, like, almost 24-7, like, what to eat all wow. the time. Like, he was just with him. But then, you know, I, I guess he moved. He's bigger than just being just with Gary at this point, right? Yeah, I guess he was involved in poker, and then uh, I, know, I know Joe Ingram knew who he was because that's how I saw who he was. Joe Ingram uh, commented that he looks like Mike McDonald, a okay, yeah. poker player. And uh, I know he's been working with James Stay with us. I watch Gary Vaynerchuk daily <laughs> on YouTube. So gotcha. that's why I was like, my personal trainer, and I'm looking at him like, yeah, maybe that's the same guy. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Yeah. It really is a small world. Jamie Staples. Destin betting the turn with seven high. I like those small pairs out of position. Couldn't hold on for the set this time, huh? Destin playing some hands so far. I noticed. Is he going to play tomorrow? 600. Uh, no. Probably not, but 600 for Destin. Brad already uh, incorrectly hero called one hand. And he snap calls this time. So one for two on hero calls. I didn't want to like lock it up. Do you Normally think uh, like what you just yeah. said to me was in Destin's mind at all during this hand? Do you think Destin no. was no. thinking about the fact that, that he called before? I mean, I know he didn't know what he had or whatever. Probably not that much, but I bet that it was in, it, I was thinking it might be in Brad's mind. Because you don't want to just keep calling and be wrong, right? right? Especially on a live stream. I, like It might come into his mind, but clearly it didn't because he called pretty quickly. Well, it could have come into his mind the opposite way. That's what I was curious about. I'm wondering if you're though with props. From Destin's mind, you're saying? Like, no, Brad's mind. Like, my the like, opposite way. Like, so you're like right away, thinking you, that someone like, okay, would think, oh, well, I'll do it again. Oh, you know what I mean? Right gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of leveling in reverse psychology in poker, right? I mean, I think there is. It's just a matter of what people are thinking. If you know what someone's thinking, that's all you need to know. I'm not saying it's easy to get there. Yeah, there's a psychological aspect for sure, but and then there's a lot of players who will just ignore all that, and they're just going to play their hands the best way they know how to play every hand regardless. Even if they're hero calling ten hands in a row, if they think it's the right call, they're just going to keep calling. Right. Yeah, I tend to go to that one. But I don't think you can lean on one side or the other. You have to be able to work some of both in. Right. You know? It's the whole, like, GTO and exploitative type of thing, right? It's live poker, and so there are reads. There are ways that you can figure things out. You can talk to people. Do you yeah. talk to people in hands when you play? Occasionally. Check. It depends on the mood and the, the people. It's different all the time. You've you been know? playing for how long? I don't know. Decades? No. Centuries. <laughs> no. I would say that I really started paying attention to poker in like 05. So I mean, I'm sure there's things along the way that you can pick up from players by talking to them at the table, or just senses yeah. you get. Yeah, for sure. I remember the first time I had a sense of something. Went with it and was right. What happened? And he texted me again. I'm like, wow, this is really weird. Armenia Mike bet $20 on the river with trips on a four spade board, and Brad called him with worse. Right. Yeah, that was actually the best thing I've done regarding what you're saying. Go all the way to Austria. 
That's pretty sick. Yeah. Did you find Schwarzenegger? Pretty sure he's here. Oh. In California, right? Yeah. Driving a tank around on this property? Something like that. Did, you didn't find Fedor. Yeah. Who's that? You don't know who Fedor holds this? He's a poker player, right? I'm telling you I don't keep up with poker. In 2017, I know no poker players. I mean, good for you, though. I mean, you don't need to. It's like this. It's like, why do I care about pro football players? Just, you know, some guy makes $17 million a year. He's not paying my rent. You know what I mean? Yeah. Red Wolf said Trooper looks like a failed PE coach. Uh, whatever, I don't know. whatever that means. Might have been Harris or I don't think he looks like a current. We PE have some of the most intelligent in, in our chat, board. in the chat here. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We brought our best. <laughs> well, we have 4,000 people watching right now. You figure at least 200 of them are really intelligent. 4,000? Yeah. Like, are you sure it's 4,000? Yeah. There's no way that number's wrong. He's been floral by Wilkins, too. That's fantastic. The only way is if. A bunch of people are in both yeah, chats. Yeah, I grew up, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, grew up around. We have a flop here, four ways, uh, and a nut uh, flush draw for Destin, an overpair for Joe with pocket queens, and a set a for Brad uh, Owen. And, uh, like and Brad and Destin George and Joe are going to put some like money in. Do, do and I folded 6 8. Testing and what an get certified. I was also flying helicopters in Colorado yeah. for This is going to be a big pot, years. guys. And I was going to be like the first. Joe bets 130, Destin flats, uh, and Brad. Power. Should they be like putting in a raise here to somewhere around five or six hundred. Like robot leg that like went this is a wet leg flop. Yeah. Move the pedals for you. Oh boy, he touched like the chips and went back into the really tank. Was made with the air That's got to be a tell. So like I don't big, know what it means, like but it must mean he has a set. I <laughs> since we can see like the cards. Like eight months, I was like, dude, this thing is like dangerous. Six hundred. <laughs> yeah. I'm hovering. Is that what he did? He went back to count in his head. He went back for a reason. Yeah. Was it intentional? Making these jerky movements. It's very fucking Maybe scary. he just was making like sure he was putting in the right amount. <laughs> and now Joe is in a spot so here. Yeah. There was some times where it was like, if Joe was like gets away from it, then Destin's not folding. <laughs> Roll and he just like takes but control and just Joe is in an it, interesting like, spot here. It was really interesting. I went there to do. I am of the opinion that you and do not want to draw like attention to yourself when you have a strong hand. Uh, they wanted to train injured veterans, like that was the program, mm -hmm. but they also were doing civilians, and I was the first one to sign up. Right. But then so basically live avatar. You know what I mean? There are four ways. You don't want everyone cool. to stop and look at you. It was a really cool experience, but That's then they went bankrupt and they fucked me. Yeah. They went bankrupt, didn't tell anybody, and they like put a bunch of money out the front from the student. Did Joe and fold? Wow. He folded. One day wow, I showed up fold. and <coughs> there was chains on the door. That was a correct fold. No one's answering their phones. Wow. Yeah. They went MIA. Destin's going to call here. Uh, you know, Destin's been really, I mean, it's been a talkative table, but Destin's been really quiet. And when he played in the 25-50 game a few times uh, in the last two months, he is super funny and animated. He just super funny at the table. And I'm really surprised that he's been so quiet at the table today. Do you think it has anything to do with oh, yeah, not, be not because he got stuck early? Yeah, but maybe so. he got stuck early for the same reason that he's being quiet. Maybe something's going on. You know, <laughs> and, and Brad late. goes all in so here. So now Destin uh, yeah, yeah, he came in late, uh, thinking about calling him 2,600. So, yeah. so it was a, about a pot size uh, bet. And, you know, I said this on one of our shows before, I believe. I'd like you know, Destin, or maybe I said it off camera. Destin has won both shows he's played in the 2550 here on Live of the Bike. Oh, he calls. Wow. Destin's going to gamble here. Yeah, he's got a... Uh, one time, he says. So even behind, he said one time. And that's a full house for Brad. Yeah. But wow, Destin, gambles. no, it doesn't matter. He, he gambles, and, and if he had said two times, Brad would have went twice. Yeah. But he said one time. Wow.